Welcome to Susan's Auto Show. I'm your host, Susan Langheim. It's my pleasure to be with Stacy Faring Kelly from the Illinois chapter of the Alzheimer's Association. It's so great to have you here. It's great to be here, Susan. Thank you for having me. Let's talk about, first of all, let's talk about you're new to this job, Stacy. About two months? Yes. About two months. About two months. <laughs> about two months in. Tell us why you took this job. Well, I actually had um, personal reasons for taking this job. I had recently. Um, completed dementia journeys with both of my parents. Um, my dad had been diagnosed with Parkinson's and he had dementia that goes along with Parkinson's. And he ended up, um, we put him in a living facility because we wanted a good quality of life for him. And that kind of started our, our journey through um, dementia and um, through the senior living community that surrounds dementia. And he passed away in January of 2016. About a year and a half later, my mom had a very severe hemorrhagic stroke. And um, she ended up actually having to be placed in the same facility as my dad did. Again, for quality of life. Um, we wanted her to be safe and we wanted her to have as good a quality of life as what she could. Um, that experience, however, was very bewildering to all of us, and it was a journey that we really didn't anticipate having with both of our parents, especially so close together. So I ended up, um, as power of attorney for healthcare, making a lot of decisions for my mom, um, both healthcare-wise and helping my brother with property and financial decisions. And it was it was heartbreaking, and it was a tough journey. And I did not really at the time understand with the Alzheimer's Association how many resources were out there for people who were going through the journey that my, my family and I were going through at the time. So when the opportunity came up um, for this position, I jumped at it and here I am. Here you are. Let's talk about that. You said on your on this journey, your personal journey, you didn't realize how, how many resources were out there. Now with you being in your position, you know that there are so many ways to help someone watching right now, maybe going through this daunting journey that you went through. What can you say to someone watching of how to start? I mean, it's heartbreaking. You must have gone through many, many different emotions. And where does someone start and what, what advice can you give them to help help them? Because this just doesn't affect the patient. This affects all of you, correct? It, it does. It, it affects anybody who is involved um, with the person's life. Mm -hmm. um, so with my, with my dad, um, he was still living at home when we started to see the signs of the memory loss and the dementia. And it, it was very difficult because we didn't know how to start the conversation. Um, my mom was frustrated and she was worried that my dad would, you know, maybe try to go out and drive the car himself. And we knew at that time he really shouldn't be driving. So, um, you know, that that's an example of a kind of a tough conversation for a lot of people because that's really, that's somebody's loss of independence. It's a big loss of independence. Um, and so at the time, I was actually pretty fortunate because I did have contacts in the community that had, had experience with dementia. I had actually worked through my former position. I had worked with the senior care and the senior living community within Springfield. And so I had some resources and I had, you know, some, some people to guide me on mm -hmm. how to start those conversations with 
not just with my mom who was upset obviously and didn't know what to do, but also with my dad. Mm -hmm. um, and I learned later that that's actually the Alzheimer's Association had that resource. I could have called the helpline or I could have gotten online to their website and looked up some resources to help start those types of conversations. And that would have been... And that would have been very, very helpful. Yes. Very helpful. Yes. Let's talk about some of these resources you have. But let's talk to, talk to the viewers about sure. um, what they could... Uh, what kind of help they can find. Sure. So we do have, I mentioned the helpline. Mm -hmm. We do have a 24 hour day, seven day a week helpline. And that is available to anybody who has any type of need. Um, they offer emotional support. There are caregiving tools that are available. They can offer referral to healthcare, financial and legal resources. They do have master degree level social workers that are accessible through that helpline. What I found um, during my journey is that very often I didn't know what questions to ask because you just don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so um, that helpline for somebody that's in that situation can be just really the ultimate resource because like I said, you don't know what you don't know, but they, they can help you walk through that conversation and they can get you to the correct resources. Um, we also do offer an early gauge and young set, uh, um, young onset service. Mm -hmm. We have education programs that we go out into the community and deliver, and we do have some that are offered on our website as well as by telephone. We offer care navigation, which is done either in person or over the phone. Um, depending on the area that the person lives in. And that is just, you know, kind of a guide on how to select nursing homes, um, select different services. Mm -hmm. And then we also do have a safe return program and we offer support groups across the area. You have a lot, a lot of help for family members, don't you? Yes, we do. And it, it, all of our services are free to the public. That's fantastic. That is just fantastic. I know you were in need of volunteers quite often for many different um, uh, areas, uh, desk work or answering phones and so forth. Yes. Um, we also do need volunteers who can go out into the community mm -hmm. and give the education programs for us to represent the association at a variety of events such as health fairs. Um, we also do have um, volunteer support group facilitators. I believe in the Springfield area, we right now have three of those volunteer support group facilitators, mm -hmm. which is very exciting. Um, and we're always looking to expand those programs out into the smaller communities that just don't have the resources available to them, especially with, um, with our seniors in particular, transportation is an issue. Right. And so we really want to be able to send volunteers out into those smaller communities to help us get the word out and help get, get those resources to the people who do need them the most. Perfect. I know you have something exciting coming up on September 21st, and can you tell us about your walk? Yes. Um, so September 21st is our Walk to End Alzheimer's. Um, that is our really our flagship fundraising um, event throughout this area, um, and that the funds for that actually um, that are raised actually come back to help provide and support these free services that we offer to our constituents in the area. We have about 850 people who participate and walk every year, and it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of activities that go on during the walk. Um, registration starts at 8.30, the opening ceremony is at 9.30, and then the walk itself starts at 10 a.m. That sounds great, and we're so happy to be a proud sponsor, one of your sponsors for that walk here at Susan's Auto Mall. Stacy, it's been wonderful to have you. Thank you for sharing your story. And for people who have questions, please give them the number they can call to talk to anybody. Absolutely. The helpline number is 1-800-272-3900. And that number can be accessed 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can also find upcoming programs along with the walk schedule. If Perfect. you call that helpline number. Great. Thank you so much, Stacy. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back. 
We are celebrating Independence Day all month long at Friendly Chevrolet. New taxes are coming and we want to help. During the month of July, all new Chevrolets will be sold at Invoice Plus. You keep all of the incentives and we will pay your sales tax on any new Chevrolet purchase. That's right, any new Chevrolet purchased in July, we will pay your sales tax. Susan's Auto Mall. We are your freedom from higher taxes dealership. You asked and we listened. Susan's Auto Mall is excited to announce our nighttime hours. Our service department is now open until 8 p.m. for full service. No other dealership in town offers this service. If you work nine to five, no problem. We stay open late just for you. Stop by any evening, Monday through Friday until 8 p.m. and let us take care of you. Susan's Auto Mall, nighttime hours, Prairie Crossing, Springfield. Welcome back. I'm Paul Walsh. We're going to be talking today about the 2019 Chevrolet Colorado. The 2019 Chevrolet Colorado is a mid-sized truck that will maximize your lifestyle. With the unmistakable appearance, this is the truck even your mom would like. With six airbags and an HD rear view camera, you're sure to be in one of the safest vehicles on the road today. With the available Z71 package, you get off-road suspension and skid plates to cover your undercarriage that gives you the capability to go anywhere, even off-road. Huh? Huh? This ridiculously attractive truck has 1,500 pounds of payload capacity and 7,700 pounds of towing capacity. There's so much space back here, you could fit up to 6,000 Kiwis. This 2019 Colorado comes with the latest technology and high intensity headlights. Oh, that's so bright! And it comes with four wheels. No, seriously. The Z71 package does give you the all-terrain tires, which gives you the capability to go off-roading without having to slip your tires. Your life is one of a kind, and your truck should be too. Welcome back to Susan's Auto Show. We have a great selection of pre-owned vehicles here at Friendly Chevrolet. So without further ado, let's begin. First up, we have a 2018 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 LTZ. Truck is like new, 7,500 original miles, 5.3 liter V8 engine, iridescent pearl tricoat, beautiful truck. This truck was 43,986. Here for the auto show, we've got it marked all the way down to 41,990. We have that hard to find third row SUV. This is a 2018 Chevy Traverse LT package, only 17,000 miles. This vehicle is perfect. Silver ice metallic, interiors jet black, automatic, all the power features. This car was 35,986. Here at Susan's Auto Show, we've got it marked all the way down to 34,868. Our third offering is a 2017 Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. This truck is absolutely loaded, everything but the kitchen sink. 36,000 original one owner miles, clean Carfax, one of our certified pre-owns. This truck retails for over $42,000. Here at Susan's Auto Show, we've got it marked all the way down to 39,335. Okay, next up we have another certified pre-owned vehicle. This is the only place in town you can buy a certified Chevy right here at Susan's Auto Mall. This is a 2014 Chevy Impala LTZ, 3.6 liter V6 motor, 59,000 original miles. This thing will get 30 miles per gallon. Great car. We've got it marked down to sell. Here for the Susan's Auto Show, $18,418. All I can say on our next offering is wow, 2019 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Z51 convertible package, 6.2 liter V8 engine, eight speed paddle shifter with all the automatic modes, Arctic white, jet black interior. This car is immaculate. 
This car retails for over $72,000. Here at Susan's Auto Show, we've got it marked all the way down to $65,449. Next up, we have a hard to find truck in that mid $20,000 range. This is a 2013 Silverado LTZ Crew Cab, only 82,000 miles, 5.3 liter V8, leather loaded, running boards, wheels, bed liner. This truck retails for almost $27,000. Here at Susan's Auto Show, we've got it marked all the way down to $24,547. And our next offering is a 2011 Chevrolet Traverse LS package, cloth interior, does have the third row, great for a family outing. This car will still get almost 25 miles per gallon on the highway, 70,000 miles, was $13,958. Here at Susan's Auto Show, we've got it marked all the way down to $11,000. 958. Next up, we have a 2015 Buick Enclave, leather loaded, third row, only 89,000 miles, that gorgeous crimson red tent coat, six speed overdrive transmission. This car is ready to go on that summer trip. Was 21,864. Here for Susan's Auto Show, we've got it marked all the way down to 19,999. Next up, we have a 2019 Chevrolet Camaro SS Coupe. This car is ready for summer. Gorgeous red hot exterior color, jet black interior color, 10 speed automatic transmission, only 14,000 miles. One owner, original Carfax, retails for over $41,000. Here for the auto show, we've got it marked all the way down to 38,777. First up, we have a 16 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, that hard to find Rubicon package, hard top, ready for summer, 44,000 original one owner miles. This truck still retails for over $35,000. Here for Susan's Auto Show, we've got it marked all the way down to 32,777. This is a 2019, yes, you heard that right, a 2019 Acura TLX V6 with the technology package, leather, moonroof, navigation, only 4,000 original miles. This car stickers new in the low 40s. Here for Susan's Auto Show, we've got it marked all the way down to 36,777. Next up, we have a hard to find third row Toyota Highlander all wheel drive V6 LE package. 73,000 original miles, which is barely broke in for a Toyota, folks. Re still retails for almost $28,000. Here for the auto show, we've got it marked all the way down to 25,777. We have a 2018 Kia Optima LX package, automatic, windows locked, tilt cruise air, Bluetooth, only 49,000 original miles. This car was 16248. Here at Susan's Auto Show, we've got it marked all the way down to 14777. Our next offering is a 2018 Nissan Altima 2.5 SV trim package, 41,000 miles, clean Carfax, was 18988. Here for the Auto Show folks, we've got it marked all the way down to 16000. 777. And next up, we have a 2018 Toyota RAV4 front wheel drive LE package, only 34,000 miles. This truck retails for 22.6. Here for the auto show, we've got it marked all the way down to 20,277. Next up, we have a 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. Traded in by one of our employees, one owner, 21,000 miles. This truck retails for almost $28,000. Here at the auto show, we've got it marked all the way down to 26,777. We have a Honda certified pre-owned, only place in town to buy one of those, right here at Susan's Auto Mall. This is a 2018 Honda Ridgeline, hard to find black edition, all wheel drive, 16,000 original one owner miles. 
This truck new is over $44,000. Here for the auto show, we've got it marked down to $38,777. We are celebrating Independence Day all month long at Honda of Illinois. New taxes are coming and we want to help. During the month of July, all new Hondas will be sold at invoice, plus you keep all of the incentives and we will pay your sales tax on any new Honda purchase. That's right, any new Honda purchase in July, we will pay your sales tax. Susan's Auto Mall. We are your freedom from higher taxes dealership. Welcome back to another installment of Susan's Tips and Tricks. I'm your Honda man, Mason, and I'm very excited to do a walk around on the vehicle sitting right next to me, a brand new 2019 Honda Odyssey. And not only important to my family, but also to the thousands of families that have chosen to put their trust in an Odyssey. And the brand new one that's sitting next to me has a lot of stuff that I gotta show you. Come with me. One of the first things you'll notice when you step in the cockpit of the all new 2019 Odyssey is that you have now a nine speed transmission with a push button. That's right. If you want to put it in park, you now push the button. If you want to put it in reverse, you do the same. Now, one of the great things about this transmission is if it's in drive and you open the door, it automatically puts that vehicle into park for you. So the ultimate in vehicle safety, and it also opens up a ton of room so that now your center console can completely flow through back and forth, opening up even more storage space for that family that needs it. Just when you thought everything that could be done to the inside seating of a minivan was done, Honda came out and revolutionized the way that we think about the seating that we put not only our kids in, but the people that we like to take on trips. And let's face it, with a vehicle like an Odyssey or a minivan, it's gonna be the one that you pack as much people as you can. So let me show you this. One little grab and I can scoot all the way over and be directly in the center of the vehicle, leaving a nice space to maybe take some stuff with you, give you a little bit more cargo capacity, or just getting you closer to watching that DVD player in the back. Also, you don't wanna be that close. You can come over a little bit and it locks into place, or I'm right back where I started, leaving a nice path for people to walk and get into the third row, especially handy if you have those little ones with you. Wow, wouldn't this be a great way to watch a drive-in movie? With the Honda Odyssey's magic stowing seats, you will be the envy of all the dads and all the moms in town. And I'm gonna show you how many more ways you can configure these seats than just the stadium seating for the drive-in. You saw me relaxing earlier. Now I'm gonna show you how the configurations on the magic stowing seat with the 2019 Odyssey work. And I think what you're gonna see is how easy it is. And I can actually do it with just one hand and so can you out there. So. First, I'll show you, actually putting the seat completely down. My left hand pushes it down completely flat on this side. And the same thing over here. One hand and it stows completely flat. Now, I know that's probably not what you were waiting to see. You wanted to see how I did the stadium seating so that you can take your family to the drive-in and the new Odyssey. It's very easy. Same configuration that we did before. We're gonna lock the seat back in place. So now that seat's locked back in place, we're going to pull it over just like so. And now again, right back in the position I was sitting in your Odyssey, hook up your AM FM radio, link it up and you have just a wonderful summer provided by the Honda Odyssey. You asked and we listened. Susan's Auto Mall is excited to announce our nighttime hours. Our service department is now open until 8 p.m. for full service. No other dealership in town offers this service. If you work nine to five, no problem. We stay open late just for you. Stop by any evening, Monday through Friday until 8 p.m. and let us take care of you. Susan's Auto Mall, nighttime hours, Prairie Crossing, Springfield. Thanks for watching. See you next time.